Hey guys, welcome to Horror Army. I'm your host, Aaron Mitchell. And on today's video, I thought I would do a rundown of a few of my favorite pieces that I've made through my company, Serial Resin Co., over the last year to two years. Um, and I also wanted to tell you guys that if you're interested in purchasing something from my company, I do now have on sale my November series box. Uh, it goes on sale until November 15th. Uh, I also wanted to announce, if you've been following my work, that in January I'm going to be starting as well as this regular minibus series box, also the XL series box, which will contain two 5-inch themed busts. Uh, it will be $150, so it will be quite a jump in price from the first one, but you're also going to get higher-end stuff, uh, and it will be two 5-inch busts. Uh, versus the three inch single bust and like a magnet that you would get in the XL box. I did want to offer something for my customers at a higher price bracket for some of the higher end collectors out there. So look out for that. Uh, but let's not waste any time. Let's get back. Let's get right into uh, some of my pieces I pulled from my collection. I always keep prototypes from everything I make. Uh, so I want to show you guys some of that stuff. So let's start with uh, one of my favorite things that I made about a year ago. Uh, it did really well on the site, but I did the Queen Alien, the full transformation Queen Alien from the faculty. It was really cool because I showcased my work in 2023 at MaskFest in Indianapolis, Indiana. Um, and it was uh, well received by Robert Kurtzman, who actually did the original concept monster for the movie um and he seemed to really like it it was actually really cool um this is a seven inch figure that i did of the full body uh before that at the show as an exclusive i did just a full size life life scale head um and he was kind enough to sign it for the person that bought it so robert kurtzman's really cool in my book it was awesome to talk with him for the three days i was there uh but what i'm going to show you guys here is the Full transformation. Let me just get that. Uh, there we go. Show up a little bit there. So what? Basically, what I did in the in the mask fest thing is it was a large scale version of the head, um, and it was on a it was on a stand with the plaque that said the faculty. But this was a really cool one. I really enjoy this. I might bring this back to my site. I know recently, if you guys follow my work, I just been doing the boxes over the last year. But I'm going to start uh, putting up stuff that you can actually buy as well again into the new year. Uh, but this was a really cool piece. So this was the faculty 7-inch queen alien full transformation figure. Uh, up next that was really good, uh, really uh, a hot piece uh, was my Killbot from Chopping Mall. Uh, this is a 5-inch version that I did. Um, this is the prototype, so it wasn't exactly what the finished product was. Um, the people that got this piece actually had high glow uh, mixed in powder um, in the epoxy for the lights so they shined at night and also in the visor as well. But this was a really cool piece. Um, I also might bring this back. Um, this was probably one of my top pieces of 2023. Uh, up next, this was a fun one. Um, and I, I figured I would show it off because uh, it was what I released for Christmas last year. Uh, but I did the silent or um, the Santa Slay uh, Bill Goldberg version. Let me see. That might be hard because it's so uh, might get drawn out by the light. Let me see. There we go. You can kind of see him there. Uh, but this was Bill Goldberg. I did a snow globe, a light up globe, as you guys can see. So this was a really cool piece. This was a fun one to do for Christmas last year. Um, so yeah. Also, never really seen anyone else do something for Santa Slay. So as you guys know, that's kind of what I like to do. I do like to do pieces that you've never seen before uh, that kind of sets us apart from other people. Um, let's see, let's do a bigger piece. <clears throat> this next one was one of my favorites. Uh, super underrated character. I'm not sure why people don't do this piece. Um, but this was my Blix character from the movie Legend. Let me try to get in on that a little bit more. So this was a super popular piece as well. This was a Maskfest exclusive, but I did sell a couple of these. Um, these are kind of hard <laughs> to ship, obviously, because of the ears and the nose. Um, they just run the risk of breaking. Uh, but this was a cool uh, piece. This is a one, what is it, a one half scale. So not a full scale, as you can see, compared to me. Um, 
but this was a cool piece and it's definitely one of my favorite ones that I have ever done. I love this piece, super underrated character. So we'll set that down. Um, okay, let's do a smaller one. Uh, up next, uh, one of my favorite pieces and one of my favorite uh, hidden gem films is Congo. I love Congo. So I actually did one of the, let's get that to zoom. There we go, you can see him there. One of the, uh, the main, I guess they're like guardian. I think I called them the guardian apes, but I did some of the, di the rough diamonds from the movie and it comes on this cool little base. Um, but this was one of my favorite pieces. This one also did really well. I may bring this back because this is a fun one and not a lot of people do things from Congo. So I'll set that down. Um, I might as well get this big guy out of the way. Um, this was one that um, was a special order, um, but I did a life-size uh, Pinocchio from Pinocchio's Revenge. This is the evil Pinocchio, as you guys can see here. Uh, he's three feet tall. Um, I did have his knife in his hand, but I cut it off because I'm actually going to put a real blade in his knife. So I haven't gotten to that yet, um, but I will be doing that at some point. So this is my life-size Pinocchio's Revenge. I may bring this back again um, for pre-order or something like that because I have had people over the last year ask me if I will be producing these again. Um, it is a tough piece. It takes about a month to make um, all the pieces and then painting and stuff like that. So it is a big process for this piece because it is a full-scale replica. So I'll set him down for now. <clears throat> okay. Uh, up next, what do we got next? Okay, so we have the um, rogue alien that I did from Night of the Creeps. Get in on him. You guys can see. So very, very cool. This was a fun one to make. You can see the Night of the Creeps there. Man, this light is not cooperating with us today. Um, but this was a fun one to make. Um, it's a little bit smaller than full scale. Um, but this one also did really well. And it's one of my favorite ones that I've done over the last year. So we'll set that down. Uh, and while we're still on the theme of these kind of bust with the bases, I also did the Intruder Alien. You guys can see here. Uh, the Intruder Within is a super underrated movie. If you've never seen The Intruder Within, um, you should totally watch it. I loved airbrushing this. This was totally a fun one to do. And I also did the plaque, as you guys can see down below. And this is one to one scale, as you can see. So super, super fun piece. So I'll set that down. What do we got next? Uh, okay, two more pieces. I will show this one off um, only because recently it was the 10 year anniversary of the taking of Deborah Logan. And it was actually retweeted and it was also reposted on Instagram from the director himself of the movie. Um, and actually I am gonna be making him one. Uh, he is requesting one, uh, but this is the swallow scene from the taking of Deborah Logan. So as you can see here, very, very gnarly piece. This was one of my favorite ones to work on. Again, the taking of Deborah Logan is super underrated. So if you want something creepy to watch, definitely watch this movie. Um, they're also the same people that uh, did the Hell House LLC series, which I'm also a huge fan of. And also shout out to them. They're doing another movie. Um, they just announced it recently. So I'm super excited about that. But this piece is awesome. I may bring this back again because of the popularity with the 10 year anniversary. So we got that. And then the last piece I would like to show you guys, there's so many pieces that I've done over the years. I've literally done thousands of pieces since 2017 with Cyril Resin Co. Um, so it's hard to kind of pick out what I like the best, but I figured this was a good array of things in different sizes and figures versus busts and full scale stuff to show you. But also a super underrated film that I did was Dream, Stephen King's Dreamcatcher. Um, so I did The Alien with his minion snake, you guys can see there, um, from the film. Um, and I did him on a Dreamcatcher 
plaque, as you guys can see. And I will just show you the other one that I did. These did really well. Let me grab the other one here. I also did just the snake version with his clutch of eggs. Let me get that to focus. There you go. So I did do the snake as well. Um, this is the, what do they call them? The, the shit snake or the toilet snake. Um, and you'll see, there's a scene in the movie where he's kind of clutched up with his eggs on the bed. But very, very cool piece. Sorry, the focus is kind of crazy today. Uh, there we go. So very, very cool. So those were the two versions of the Dreamcatcher pieces that I did um, over the last year. So I wanna say thanks guys for checking out some of the work that I've done with my company and you can kind of see the quality that you would expect. Again, if you're interested in purchasing something from Serial Resin Co, I'm currently doing subscription boxes. Uh, they're not like repeat where they just automatically charge you. You have to go on every, every time and purchase one. But if you are interested, the November box is now available until November 15th and the themes are 30 days a night and house. So I wanna say thanks guys for tuning in. I hope to see you soon. I have another cool video where I'm actually doing um, from start to finish from design through the production, through the painting of one of the pieces for the, or for the November box. So you guys can actually see the entire process of what I do every time I put a box together. So that will be up in a couple of weeks once this uh, box is done and shipped out to the customers. But I wanted you guys to see that, st that type of side of Ciro Resin Co. So thanks guys. I'll talk to you soon. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video.